Kat Sulis, and today I want to talk about the hidden enemy. Now, when I use the word enemy, I'm being very specific. If you look in the dictionary, you'll see that the definition of enemy is a person or thing that opposes or acts against someone or something. And I can't think of a group that does more to harm the health of the American people more than advertisers. And so they operate in the shadows and you don't really recognize the influence they have. But if you look at this number, it's eleven billion dollars, two hundred and sixty million. And that's what was spent on food advertising in two thousand and five. Now if you compare that number, eleven billion, to nine million, fifty five thousand, that's the that's the amount that was spent on nutrition education in two thousand and five. And so you start to wonder why as a culture, we're having such difficulty with overweight and obesity, and you start to realize it's this omnipresent influence. Now, how does it work? We watch commercials and we say, oh, they're stupid. They don't make any sense. But you need to understand that behaviors are based on emotions, okay, not on logic. So you know this because you know what to eat, you know what you should do, but sometimes there's a feeling pulling you, kind of playing with your mind that makes you do the things you don't want to do against what you know you should do. So how does this happen? And that's what I want to talk about here. What they do is they take images and ideas, something as simple as a clown, for example, and something that has all pure positive emotions to when you're a kid, you went to the circus and clowns were funny, they made you laugh, they were enjoyable, completely benign. And what ends up happening is that they take this pure image this image that has all this emotional connection to it and they start to introduce something to it that has nothing to do with it something like let's say I don't know maybe a cheeseburger okay and so all of a sudden they link these two things that have nothing to do together alright now there's a study done at the University of Liverpool and they studied advertising effects on children what they came what they found out is that the advertising increased the chi the kids food consumption by 84 to 134 percent so on average it doubled what the kids ate and this is the same statistics that translate into adulthood so we think that these ads don't matter to us but they influence us all the time so we need to look at these advertising messages with a keen eye recognizing what they do so that maybe that clown looks like this when he's not on camera right and if he looked like this would you take it so benignly would you allow your kids to eat there right would it be as friendly even if they had playgrounds at their restaurant would you go there right so this is kind of a, a dramatization I understand but I use it to prove a point that they use these images and these ideas to trick us and to distract us and misdirect us to focus on something that has nothing to do with their product meanwhile their products making us overweight making us miserable taking our health away and we don't realize it because we get caught up in the messages. So until we have clowns selling us fruit baskets and healthy salads and a real healthy lifestyle, we need to look at these ads and begin to put up some defenses to see through these ads to what is it that they're actually selling? What is it that we're actually consuming? So that all of a sudden we start to think about healthy foods and we realize they can be fun. They are fun. They're more fun because when we have more energy and we're in a better mood and we feel good about ourselves, you're going to tend to have a better time, all right, rather than trying to be tricked by fast foods that don't support the lifestyle we want. And so that we're not only thinking about fruits and salads when we want to lose weight, but we think of it as an everyday thing that's truly enjoyable and truly fun. So remember your dream body. Remember the way that you want to feel. And begin to notice, see through the advertising, see through the perceptions of what we've been sold to what's actually there. Thank you for listening and have a great day.